city. Those people right there will give you tickets. Oliver Wood. I am Oliver. Who, Who are, are you? you? I'm Malachi. Malachi. Malachi nice. Gross. All right, nice to meet you, Malachi. Your brother? My brother used to play in a band, or has a band called Nadesky Martin and Wood, which okay. is kind of an avant groove instrumental music. Uh, so he's a virtuoso bass player. So that adds a little bit of jazz to what we do, but we do a, we do songs and singing and you know kind of root stuff. Uh, Brother, do you have fans? Do we have fans? Do you have fans? I mean, uh, we're making a living, so we've got enough do you, to do, do that. You, do you have fans? Absolutely. Die hard. I work with people that have millions and millions of fans, brother. Some of them call them celebrities. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Maybe you are, but you don't realize the tie-in of what that word means versus actually what the word means. Because the actual word means, famous means to be known by many. Yeah, sure. But when you own it, you recognize it and it's called influence. Yeah. But I bring influence on purpose, with purpose, and anybody that I work with that as we raise our our consciousness and elevation of who we are and we manifest who we want to be, Toby Keith personally told me the story because because working with Wayne, yeah. I'm a nobody going into this environment at 30 something years old but he tells me that he about quit after doing show after show after show after show and it was grueling as somebody that is not famous as somebody that is not known by millions or many but I like uh, I don't like the idea of celebrity I do like the idea of influence and I like for, for me personally, I've been doing it a long time, and I've had feelings like that where, what the heck am I doing? I don't want to do this. I'm, I'm, I'm away from my family. I have family at home. I can be at home with my family. But then somebody will say, hey, your music really got me through a tough time. Over here, your music that uh, healed you me, helped me heal from this or survive something. There you go. And then I get re-inspired and I realize, okay, this okay. kind of that's the kind of influence that feels important. Not the kind of stuff like when I think of celebrity, I think of showiness or, or popularity or whatever. But when you're, when you're helping people, when you feel like it's helping and connecting, which I feel that's what one thing that it music is. can do, it really connects people. Yeah. That's but when I get uh, reinvigorated. You know. I'm his bus driver. The more people that gets to hear your mm. music and what you bring on the face of this planet, mm. it's going to help connect and heal and nurture. Oh, yeah. yeah. It is an honor, yeah. right, to it, meet you. Because well, to be you. honest, I know that you're somebody, right? I know that you're somebody because I've been around a lot of somebodies. You've been around a lot of greatness, brother, and you realize how far or how close you are to it. This wonderful bus driver you have here. We're nothing without him. Nothing. <laughs> People like you gave me an opportunity, so I have to make the most of it.
Look. Oh my God. <laughs> That's crazy. And I can't remember, said. You know Malachi and he. Hey, Malachi. Oh. Hold up, wait a minute. Do you realize what just happened? For me, this was significant and is significant. I come across this dear fellow for Wood, who is a wonderful, wonderful musician. Wayman Tisdale's wife just called for me. And I was just talking of Wayman. You seen it. It was 8.30 in the morning. She's there with her beautiful daughter, who is also an inspiration, Danielle, who has done work with the likes of Kevin Durant, and the list goes on. I like to do things beyond belief. As my friend Ron Hudson would say, living miraculously. And so we say, living miraculously beyond belief. How do you do that? I'm showing you, I'm telling you, and not only am I just gonna tell you, but I'm gonna show you in my life. I've been in a conversation with Mr. Oliver Wood about fame and about celebrity, about getting people to know who you are. Or I don't want people just to know me because I want them to know me. Celebrity comes with great responsibility. And the fact that as humans become more known, it seems like we are, uh, more flaws are seen, or more people see the flaws of us. They too are people. I'm here to tell you, I am a high influencer or an influencer of people to get them to understand that they are powerful people and they can do things to help move the needle in their life and in other people's life. Can you imagine what goes on when people are uplifted, when people are blessed, when people feel like they can go further in life. Michael Todd, you're doing wonderful work being yourself. You've become who you become. And I can say, I knew it. You've always been that guy. And just as you, no different than Tiz, no different than Carlton, no different than the list goes on of the people, wonderful people that have been moved or inspired or happened to be connected with Miss Regina Tizel, who you just met. These people mean something to me. Their lives mean something to a lot of people. They're inspiring people, uplifting people. And Wayman Tizel put something so greatly in my life. Him telling me that I'm worth a million bucks in LA. If I can do it, you can do it. Having conversations with the late, great Wayman Tisdell, and not too many people can say, they were able to spend quality time assisting a person and being around a person, such a big, bright, wonderful individual. Thank you, Mr. Wayman Tisdell. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. I wouldn't feel this way if it wasn't for you. This is the story that will continue, guys. As a minister, Wayman Tisdell, Brian Shortor. Anybody that was touched by him or in his life, I really want them to speak up right now. Because we need more people like him than when people celebrate other people that have helped change the world in some kind of way. We definitely need more people like him and his wife is coming up with a, no she's written a book and she went through so much guys you just can't understand you can't understand but it's not really what she's went through or gone through for me it's what miss regina tisdale what she powered through and to go through what she's been through to muster up the energy to run that foundation and to spend the time to write a book it's not really what she's went through or gone through for me it's what miss regina tisdale just what she's done with it. Being an NBA wife, being a celebrity wife, things that I couldn't imagine seeing and experiencing due to Wayman Tisdell. But I did, and she's she's got a book, and this book is her book, not his book. And it's her time to shine, so if you're watching this, I'm gonna talk to her, and I wanna see when the book's released, because I wanna promote the book because it's gonna help somebody. Because this lady is, she's brilliant. She's, she's, she's an amazing person. Pay attention, meditate, 
learn to meditate, but pay attention. Pay attention. Be present. Let your light so shine among men that they glorify your Father, which is all over, in and out, through and through. Blessings. I was always taught as a kid, God did not give me the spirit of fear. He gave me the, the spirit of sound joy and conquer and that I can make it through anything. I look at it as a bump in the road, man. Everybody's gonna have a bump in the road. It's just how you handle it. And you're gonna be able to keep that famous Wayman Tisdale smile? It will never leave me. That something will never leave.